Hello everyone! Welcome to Teacher Frail TV! Our subject for today is Math 4, Quarter 4, Week 8, Milk Base. Let's learn about Problem Solving Involving a Simple Experiment. the end of this lesson, you are expected to solve routine and non-routine problems involving a simple experiment. Hello kids! Today, you will learn how to solve a problem solving involving a simple experiment. This is our last week for mathematics. We have study and answer about solving routine and non-routine problems in our previous lesson. But this time, we are going to solve routine and non-routine problem for simple experiment. Do you know that there are ways to find or solve fast that simple experiment? Let us study how. These are the things that you must bear in your mind. Always remember the steps in solving a problem. Step 1. Understand. What is asked in the problem? What are the given numbers? Step 2. Plan. What operation will you use? What is the mathematical sentence? Step 3. Solve. What is the answer to the problem? How can we solve the problem? And step 4. Look back. How can we check that our answer is correct? Let us have an example. Let us read the problem below. Arthur is spinning a spinner like the figure at the right while he is playing with his friends. What is the probability that he spins a 4 on his next turn? You can answer using 4-step plan. Step 1. Understand. Know what is asked. The probability that Arthur spins a 4 on his next turn. And then, know the given facts. There are 6 equal sections in spinner. Step 2. Plan. There are 6 equal sections. One of the sections is labeled with a 4. Use the formula to find the probability in getting a 4. Here is the formula. Probability event equals number of times an event occur over total number of outcomes, where E refers to the event. And then step 3 is to solve. If E is the event of getting a 4, then the formula becomes probability the event is 4 equals 1 over 6. The probability that Arthur can spin a 4 is 1 6. And then step 4 is check and look back. Since the spinner has 6 sections, the probability of occurrence of each section is 1 6. Since 1, the sections labeled a 4. The probability that you spin a 4 is 1 6. For what we have started in our lesson, can you now solve simple experiments? Let us see. Answer this task. Learning Task 1 Read and solve the problem by answering A to E. Number 1. Your teacher puts 5 cards numbered 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9 on her desk. Without looking, what is the probability that you will pick a 7 when asked by your teacher to pick 1 card? Letter A. What is asked in the problem? Correct! The probability that you pick a 7. Letter B, what are the given numbers? Correct! There are 5 equal cards numbered 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Letter C, what operation will you use? Very good! The formula is probability event equals number of times an event occur over total number of outcomes. 
Letter D, what is the mathematical sentence? Very good! Probability, event is 7 equals 1 over 5. And letter E, what is the answer to the problem? Correct! The probability that a number 7 will be picked is 1 fifth. Number 2. The letters from the word math are placed in a hat. What is the probability that you select an A when you are choosing a letter without looking? Letter A, what is as in the problem? Correct! The probability that you select an A. Letter B, what are the given letters? Very good! The given letters are M, A, T, and H. Letter C, what operation will you use? Very good! Probability, event equals number of times an event occur over total number of outcomes. D, what is the mathematical sentence? Very good! Probability, the event is A equals 1 over 4. And letter E, what is the answer to the problem? Very good! The probability that you select an A is 1 fourth. Number 3, 5 boys join a spelling contest. What is the probability that one of the boys win? Letter A, what is as in the problem? Correct! The probability that one of the boys wins. Letter B, what are the given numbers? Very good! There are five boys. Letter C, what operation will you use? Very good! Probability event equals number of times an event occur over total number of outcomes. Letter D, what is the mathematical sentence? Very good! Probability, the event is 1, equals 1 over 5. And letter E, what is the answer to the problem? Very good! The probability that one boy wins is 1 fifth. Number 4, from a class of 20 boys and 20 girls, what is the probability that a boy chosen to be a cheerleader? Letter A, what is as in the problem? Very good! The probability that a boy chosen to be a cheerleader. Letter B, what are the given numbers? Very good! The given numbers are 20 boys and 20 girls. Letter C, what operation will you use? Division. Very good! The operation will be used is division. Letter D, what is the mathematical sentence? Very good! 20 divided by 40 equals N. And letter E, what is the answer to the problem? Very good! The probability that a boy chosen to be a cheerleader is 0 0.50 or 50%. And number 5, what is the probability that an even number of dots shows up in a die is rolled? Letter A, what is as in the problem? Correct! The probability that an even number of dots shows up. Letter B, what are the given numbers? Correct! The number of dots in a dice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Letter C, what operation will you use? Very good! Probability, event equals number of times an event occur over total number of outcomes. Letter D, what is the mathematical sentence? Very good! Probability, the event is 3 equals 3 over 6. And letter E, what is the answer to the problem? Very good! The probability that an even number of dots will show up is 3, 6. And now, let's move to learning task 2. Read each problem and then solve. 
Number 1. What is the probability that you get a white chip from a box with one black chip, one white chip, and one red chip? Very good! The answer is probability the event is white chip equals one-third. The probability that white chip gets is one-third. Number 2. What is the probability that you get an 8 when you are rolling a number cube? Very good! The answer is probability event is 8 equals 0 over 6. The probability that 8 gets is 0. Number 3. From a letter cube, A, B, C, D, E, and F, what is the probability that a B is on top when you roll the cube? Correct! The answer is probability the event is B equals 1 over 6. The probability that B on top is 1, 6. Number 4. Mila and three other applicants apply for a job. What is the probability that Mila gets hired? Very good! The answer is probability the event is Mila equals 1 over 4. The probability that Mila gets hired is 1 fourth. And number 5, what is the probability that odd number of dots that shows up in a die is rolled? Very good! The answer is probability event of 3 equals 3 over 6. The probability that odd number of dots that shows up in a die is 3 sixth. Now, let's move to learning task 3. Read and solve the following. Number 1. What is the probability that you will draw 2 king cards from a complete deck of 52 cards? Very good! The answer is probability 2 kings equals 2 over 52. The probability that 2 kings will draw is 2 over 52. Number 2. If you toss a die once, what is the probability that a 2 will come out? Very good! The answer is probability 2 equals 1 over 6. The probability that 2 will come out is 1, 6. Number 3. What is the probability that you get a black pen from a box of assorted pens with 12 red pens, 12 blue pens, 12 black pens? Very good! The answer is probability black pen equals 12 over 36. The probability that black pens get is 12 over 36 or one third. Number 4. Nine balls marked 1 to 5 are placed in a box. If you pick a ball at random, what is the probability that a 4 is taken out? Very good! The answer is probability 4 equals 1 over 9. The probability that a 4 will be taken out is 1 ninth. And number 5, what is the probability that you can pick letter O from the cutouts of letter opposite? Very good! The correct answer is probability 0 equals 2 over 8. The probability that you can pick letter O from the cutouts is 2 eighths. Learning Task 4 Read and solve the following Number 1 A bag contains 5 balls colored red, white, blue, yellow, and green. Without looking, what is the probability that Jane picks a white ball? Letter A What is as in the problem? Correct! The probability that Jane picks a white ball. Letter B What are the given numbers? Very good! There are 5 balls colored red, white, blue, yellow, and green. Letter C. How will you solve the problem? Very good! Probability, white equals 1 over 5. 
And letter D, what is the answer to the problem? Very good! The probability that you pick a white ball is one-fifth. Number two, Eileen and her friends take turns in spinning a letter spinner with letters A, B, C, D, and E. What is the chance that Clara lands on a D in her next turn? Letter A, what is as in the problem? Correct! The probability that lands on a D. Letter B, what facts are given? Correct! There are five letters, A, B, C, D, and E. Letter C, how will you solve the problem? Correct! Use the formula. Probability D equals 1 over 5. And letter D, what is the answer to the problem? Very good! The probability that you select a D is 1 fifth. Number 3. Your brother puts a red egg and a white egg in a basket. What is the chance that when you get an egg from the basket, you'll pick a red egg? Letter A, what is as in the problem? Correct! The probability that a red egg will be picked. Letter B, what facts are given? Correct! A red egg and white egg. Letter C, how will you solve the problem? Very good! Probability, red egg equals 1 over 2. And letter D, what is the answer to the problem? Correct! The probability that a red egg will be picked is 1 half. Number 4. A bag contains 5 green chips, 5 red chips, and 5 blue chips. What is the probability of picking a green chip? A. What is as in the problem? Correct! The probability of picking a green chip. B. What facts are given? Correct! 5 green chips, 5 red chips, and 5 blue chips. C. How will you solve the problem? Very good! Probability, green chip equals 5 over 15. And letter D, what is the answer to the problem? Very good! The probability that a green chip will pick is 5 over 15. And number 5, mother bought 3 guabas, 3 mangoes, and 3 chicos. What probability can her child Gwen pick guaba? A. What is as in the problem? Very good! The probability of Gwen picking a guaba. B. What facts are given? Correct! 3 guabas, 3 mangoes, and 3 chicos. C. How will you solve the problem? Very good! Probability guava equals 3 over 9. And letter D, what is the answer to the problem? Very good! The probability that a guava will be picked by Gwen is 3 over 9. Remember, these are the things that you must bear in your mind. Always remember the steps in solving a problem. Step 1, understand. What is as in the problem? What are the given numbers? Step 2. Plan. What operation will you use? And what is the mathematical sentence? Step 3. Solve. What is the answer to the problem? And how can we solve the problem? And step 4. Look back. How can we check that our answer is correct? Kids, do you understand our lesson today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. See you for the next school year. Bye-bye! Thanks for watching!